Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm gonna bless you with yet another tutorial on the FPS multiplayer series. Now in this one we're going to handle the respawning of players. Last time they could die and disappear. We should maybe add some particles, some respawning, and then I think in the next video we can add some scores, and then you really have what I'd call a simple team deathmatch shooting game already. So let's just get right into it. Now first things first, let's go into a game manager where I want to keep track of when players die. This way we can also keep track of when we should respawn them on a main manager. So let's make a new manager. I'm gonna call this a player manager and here we go so in here on this player manager we definitely would want this to be network behavior i imagine because we only want the server being able to call certain things now whenever a player dies so let's go into the player health script they call the die and i would also want to call and letting you know that a player has died on the player manager so in the player manager let's first of all make a class let me make a new class that's just called player and in this player class we should have some scores for the players so in score well let's make that a public int by the way public in score just default that to zero and we might want some more stuff in here for the future but i just want to be able to keep track of the players in here as well we probably also would like to keep track of their uh, either network connection or just their id so let me do an int and call that a client client id set that equals to minus one as default and then we would want the players to probably add themselves in here so let's make a private static player manager instance in here i would want a public static void called initial initialize new player and i would want to know the client id of this player joining and then i would want a private list of the type of player which i'll just call players which will be equals to a new list of type player and then when a new player joins i will say players dot add whoops that will be instance dot players dot add and this should not be capitalized actually this should be with an underscore that dot add a new player that i will just set the client id equals to the client id that's set like so and the score will just default to zero so that should work just fine now this means that a new player is initialized what we can also do in this case is we could grab the player and subscribe to his death but actually i think it works fine that the player just calls when he's dead let's make a public static void player died and we'll call the client id in here so this is the so this will actually be the player and this will be the killer so we'll also want an id for the killer which is how we can add points so going into the player health here we would now need to know who's damaging you as well so on this take damage method we can also have an int of a attacker id and then in the die function we can send the attacker id as well to track killing the player and so in here we can now when the player gets toggled to false we're gonna call the player manager dot player died with the attacker id oh and we would need the owner id as well owner id for who died and we need the attacker id for who killed him this should work now and now here up in take damage we now need to call who is the person firing which is the owner id of the player weapon and that should work fine now now we're able to track who's actually killing him and then down here we can grab the list of players so we can do and actually this should probably just be a dictionary as well thinking having multiple dictionaries might not be the most optimal but this should work just fine so this will be of type into player and this will be a new dictionary of type into player and then here in players it'll do just if underscore players dot try get value oh and that's because it's a static so it's instance dot players dot try get value of the killer and then we will out the type of player and just call that the killer player and then we'll take the killer player dot score and just add one point now we don't need to keep track of the client id here and we will just need to add the client id here and just a new type of player like that up here now we just add a new player to the dictionary basically a new empty player that will have the key of the client id to always recognize it and it'll try and get that from the list here when somebody's been killed and add score to his score and what we could also do i don't know if this is the best way to do it but let's do that let's do uh let's also keep track of deaths that's a fun one so let's just do if instance dot players dot try get value of the player out player dead player and then the dead player dot death plus plus now we can keep track of both the score and the death and lastly i want to try and keep track in here of when they died so public float death time this way we can use it to set sort of a timer for when they should be dead let's just set that to default of minus 99 just because that way it's never actually close to a real time and then here when we get the dead player we also take the dead player but death time and we just set that equals to time the time this way the server can keep track of when they died remember the server will only know all of this information and when we need to show it on some kind of scoreboard we would need to relay that information so let's see here we now want to keep track of who's dead so whenever they died let's throw them into a list of dead players or the client id into a list so let's make a private list of type integer and we call that dead players equals to new lists and in this dead players let's make it with an underscore to keep things consistent in this dead players list we'll 
just add the player that has been called to die here like so and now when he's in the list we would sort of want to count up against the death time so let's make a serialized field private load respawn time which we can just set to three seconds and then we would want an update loop let's throw that in the top we want this update loop and this is also where we want to on start client we want to make sure it's network behavior because if you are not the server okay so if server initialized that's a new call we want to say enabled equals to false if it has not been initialized then we just want to return this way we know that we are the server and only the server will be running the update loop and now in here we can loop through each of the so for int i equals to zero we can loop through each of the dead players as long as i is less than dead players dot count and then we just go up one and there we go now we'll be looping through each of the dead players and we'll be checking up against the death time to see if this player should respawn or not and if they should we'll just remove them from the dead players so here we can just check if that players at position i and this is now this is the client id so we actually want to take underscore players at that players position i dot death time plus the respawn time is less than time dot time let me just think for a second it, it's really good at auto filling sometimes but sometimes it does it opposite death time plus respawn time no that'll never be less than time dot time so that's not correct well we want to check if the death time goes to be less than the time dot time minus the respawn time the, the other one might have been correct too but my head really couldn't figure that one out <laughs> so this should be just fine now we would want to set some kind of respawn point to him but let's just toggle him again so first of all we want to take the dead players and the remove at position i and then we just want to return but first we want to take the player controller dot toggle player and then that would be at the dead, dead players position i and we want to set it to true again like so and this should just enable him in the same spot again which still need to initialize the new player though so we go on to the player controller and then we would want in the on start client here also to just well, let's just add them for everyone we want in here to go to the player manager dot initialize new player and we want to just hand in the owner id like so and now let's see how this works if he now respawns after about three seconds i know a lot of things just happened here but this is really how i do my development sometimes it's calling an error on line 42 that's because we need to also remove the player so let me do a public static void player disconnected we just want to remove it again and then in here on the on stop client we want to do the same thing we want to do the player manager with the owner id play disconnected like that and also the player manager is added but the instance isn't set that's also a problem so awake and we need to set the instance equals to this and just like the last time it can be good if we just double check that instance is null if it is not null we want to destroy this and return let's try it now looks like it's working and we have the other player join pick up the ak up here and now let's try and kill this guy on 50 health 40 30 20 10 and it's gone and now after approximately what three seconds he should pop back up and there we go he's back now on his screen the camera has completely disconnected seemingly but i didn't actually check if that happened from the beginning so let's just try one more we just try and press play press play and yeah he's disconnected from the beginning which means you player manager line 53 so let's try and go and debug that one figure out what's going on the line 53 that's here when it tries to initialize it says object reference which is instance isn't set and that might be because we are disabling it might be let's just try and see if we just throw this into update instead just return i want to see just how this works instead of completely disabling it we just return out of the update loop and let's see nope still doesn't work it's complaining about line 45 now which was probably where i just moved to which is here but saying the instance doesn't exist saying object reference not set to instance of an object which will most likely mean that this instance just doesn't exist it's a little bit weird Let's maybe just try and have it just override the instance and just see if that works. Still doesn't work. Line 39, which I imagine again is where I just moved to. Uh, that's really weird. That is really, really weird. Let me just try and see if the game up, or uh, if the, oh, right. Okay, hold on. This is my mistake. I forgot to save the scene. So in Peril Sync, the scene just wasn't synchronized. And so it didn't exist. It just didn't exist at all. So now let me try and kill him again and just double check that it works with the camera as well. And there we go. He should pop back up in three seconds time. And he's back. There we go. Yeah, so this this works. He's back with zero health though. So we do need to reset his health. And let's just do that quickly before I have to end it off. So here it just toggles him to true. We would want to also move the respawn point. So let's just make a whole new method for this that I'm just going to call private void respawn player. And then the rest can just be handled from here. So we'll want to take in the client ID. And that should hopefully just be it. So we want to toggle him or respawn player here, which will be with this like that. And then this is just a client id shouldn't be capitalized tend to make these silly mistakes there we go and now we just want to set the player health again which 
Uh, let me just check how we did that exactly. So that was to take damage. I guess we also just want to make a set health. I, I, I think that makes sense. Reset health. And that will just set the underscore underscore current health to max health. And then this should be a server RPC. Power ownership to false. So now the player manager can just call the correct player health here, which probably should also have a similar dictionary of players, which we can just make by saying public dictionary of type into player health, which will be called players equals to a new dictionary of this type. And now in the player manager, we can grab the player health dot players. I forgot to make it static, public static dictionary. So we will do dot players at reset. Oh, and I of course need to say which player. So let's do if player health dot players dot try get value out of the client id which will have out play health play health and then we will set the play health dot reset health like that this should hopefully work now we just need to it resets the health and health now needs to set the health tag let's just call the local i guess just local set health is a better name for this local set health and then we can also just call that up here local set health with the owner to the current health which should now be set it will probably make more sense to make this a sync var but you get the idea it does basically the same thing and yeah i think it should reset the health now so let's just go test that really quick now let me try where the other play over here should try and do this gonna lose health boom he's gone and he's back and we did actually see an error on the other screen on player controller 144 you're getting a lot of debugging in this video which is the character controller which is set in start interesting very interesting is the scene safe it is let's just try for fun's sake and move this to the awake i can't see why the start function wouldn't be called but i'd rather be safe than sorry just a bit weird if it works the one way and not the other so let's continue testing it the way that breaks just to confirm and yeah okay that seems to have fixed it three seconds he's back still not a full health though i wonder nope he'll still die immediately so the current health isn't being set correctly so let's go have a look at that you're getting all the debugging in the world here current health gets set to the max health on the server and locally set health just happens down here to change the text oh and i just sent the owner which is correct interesting let's check if the reset health is even being called correctly and maybe let's also just on the player just set the max health to like 20 just to make it quicker to test max health 20 let's try and shoot him again there we go hold a bunch of warnings character controller move called on an inactive controller right that's not a big problem but it seems to have not actually tried to call this at all so this reset health function didn't get called properly we need to figure out why that is and also on the player controller up here we can just say if can move or rather if you cannot move we just return that'll avoid that error and then the reset health doesn't get called properly it's interesting which is probably because the player health oh god what a stupid mistake i never actually add the players to this dictionary players.add owner id this there we go and then on stop client of course we remove it again i bet a bunch of you guys were probably screaming at me at the screen right now saying why is he not adding it why is he not adding it and that's okay that's completely fair this is part of development and i guess this is part of the process that people actually like watching is also seeing the mistakes the the goods and the bad so there we go shot three times and he should be set back to 20 health there we go and can be shot again and then next time we just need to set the position i also just realized the health is at 100 in the beginning which of course it shouldn't be but we'll handle that in the next video hopefully this was still a learning experience for you still fun to watch and you got something out of it and uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see other than that i just hope that you have a beautiful day